But a U.S. official says nearly all of Russia's military offensives are stalled, in large part because of Ukrainian troops. Today, diplomatic talks resume, and there's even word that President Biden could travel to Europe. We have all of this covered for you uh, from Poland to D.C. Let's start right now with Robert Sherman on the ground in Poland with the latest. Good morning, Adrian, and the Russians and Ukrainians are planning to come back to the table to discuss peace once again, picking up where they left off yesterday. Despite the fact that both sides are continuing to explore the prospect of peace, that has not stopped the Russian bombardments around Ukraine. Ukraine's capital is under fire this morning as the Russian offensive edges closer to central Kyiv. Shortly before dawn, the Ukrainian military says an apartment building was hit by artillery rounds, starting fires and sending rescuers up ladders to save as many as 35 people. At least two of them died. Attacks in Kyiv have picked up considerably in recent days as Russian forces try to break a stalemate. One woman had to be rescued from her apartment building Monday after it was hit by shelling, and a man was walking in a park in Kyiv when a missile hit a bus just yards from him. He's visibly shaken, but walks away unharmed. But the recent uptick in attacks is a chilling reminder of the Russian playbook. This is drone video from Mariupol in the southeast, a hellish-looking landscape with towers of black smoke filling the air, blackened and burnt-out apartment buildings with blown-out walls. The Ukrainian army says it fought off an attempt Monday by Russians to take the city. Intense fighting varies from block to block, Ukrainian forces ambushing Russian armored vehicles, the flash of an explosion followed by more smoke. The crew of this Ukrainian tank catches a Russian tank on a street and proceeds to destroy it. Satellite images picking up the damage from high above Mariupol. Fire and craters appear where residential buildings once stood. Civilians have been trapped without water, electricity, or heating. On Monday, another humanitarian corridor allowed around 160 cars to leave Mariupol. Ukrainians are trying to buy time to get as many people out of the city before the fighting gets worse. A U.S. official says the Russian military is largely stalled. The country launched nearly a thousand missiles into Ukraine, but U.S. security officials say Russia does not have air superiority. Both sides also have most of their air forces intact. In an overnight speech, President Volodymyr Zelensky offered a reprieve for Russian troops. Surrender, and the Ukrainian people will treat you decently. And if not, more is yet to come. In 19 days, the Russian army has lost more in Ukraine than in two bloody and years-long wars in Chechnya. For what? Through it all, life goes on with the reminders of war surrounding Ukrainians. Shattered windows, collapsed complexes, belongings tossed into bags. Everyday people trying to find safety as they attempt to make a break for the borders. I am fleeing with my child, but I don't know where to run. I am fleeing with my child because I want my child to stay alive. Officials say close to three million people have fled to countries such as Poland, where we moved Monday out of safety. Ukrainian border. Every day we see thousands of Ukrainians flee their beloved country to get out and seek refuge. To this point, the UN says over three million have done so. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.